You're watching the video demonstration of 4H2O, the National Science Experiment. Did you know that many of the things that people do each day can affect the environment? Human activities as simple as breathing or driving a car produce carbon dioxide gas, or CO2, that is released into the atmosphere. Natural water sources like the ocean, lakes, and streams then absorb the carbon dioxide. So what happens when there is too much CO2 in the water? To answer that question, 4-H introduces the 2010 National Science Experiment, 4-H2O. This experiment is designed to demonstrate the powerful effects of CO2 on the organisms whose habitats are our natural water sources. Let's get started. For the first part of this experiment, you'll need two clear plastic cups filled half full of water, 0.04% bromothymol blue indicator solution, or BTB, a flexible straw, two small squares of plastic wrap, and an eyedropper. First, using an eyedropper, add one dropper full of BTB solution to the first cup of water and stir with the straw. Next, using a square of plastic wrap, cover the top of the cup, insert the straw into the cup, and slowly blow bubbles. Make sure you don't drink any of the liquid. As you blow into the liquid, notice the immediate effects of the carbon dioxide in your breath on the water. Now, with the second cup and more solution, let several people blow into the cup at the same time and watch what happens. As the solution changes color, you can see how excess carbon dioxide has changed the chemistry of the water, now making it more acidic. The increased acidity can make the water dangerous for plants and animals that depend on it to live. We can all do our part to make sure we decrease our CO2 output to protect the quality of our water. Take the next step and calculate your own carbon footprint by completing the full experiment. To join the discussion about climate change and record your experiment findings, go to the 4-H National Youth Science Day website at www.4-h.org/nysd.